everyone. I'm Rachel Ray, and today I'm exploring the Florida Keys. Some call this the American Caribbean. 110 miles of sandy beaches and ocean breezes. And then there's the food, the seafood, the key lime pie. But all this sun, fun, and food comes with a pretty hefty price tag. Money, money, money. And I'm not worried a bit, because I've got 24 hours and $40 that says I can uncover all the bargain treasures and unlock the keys here in paradise. Ah, the Florida Keys, one of my favorite places on Earth. Between the deep blue waters, the exotic marine life, and the breathtaking scenery, this special part of the country lures me back every year. It's a sun-drenched refuge from the rigors of everyday life. And though they begin just an hour from downtown Miami, the Florida Keys definitely feel a world apart. You know, the three-hour drive through the Florida Keys should be on everyone's must-do list of a lifetime. There is no other place in the country where you can drive along and have scenic views of both the Atlantic and the Gulf of Mexico. It's amazing. And it's no surprise that the unparalleled beauty of the Keys welcomes a multitude of visitors every season. The islands themselves are made up of fossilized coral rock, infused with brightly colored homes, a laid-back atmosphere, and Bahamian hospitality. This southernmost point in the United States has a distinctly Caribbean feel. It's this unique setting and the abundance of local ingredients that have attracted not only tourists, but innovative chefs as well. Packed into the tiny town of Key West, for instance, upscale eateries combine fanciful recipes with elegant outdoor settings. And as we all know, such fine dining can be costly. But I've done my research, and I found some great ways to pinch pennies, even in paradise. Now, the Keys have something for everyone. If you're willing to be a little adventurous and go off the beaten path, you're going to have no problem finding low-cost eats. I've been driving for a couple hours now, and as I approach Key Largo, I'm getting pretty hungry for breakfast. I grabbed the local paper to do some research and read that the Cracked Conk is the best food stop for the money on the drive from Miami. So I think I'm going to give it a try. In the 1930s, the building was a bunkhouse for local fishermen. But for the last 20 years, it's been home to this popular restaurant. Run by Christy Peterson, her brother Cliff, and her daughter Jessine, a meal at the Cracked Conk is a down-home family affair. <laughs> Check this place out. The paper also mentioned that a local favorite breakfast is key lime pie. Now, it seems a little odd to me that people eat pie for breakfast. But with the abundance of lime trees here in the Keys, I'm willing to bet that the price for a slice of pie has got to be very easy on my pocketbook. Christy offers to show me her personal supply of key limes. And guess what? There's a small grove right behind the restaurant. How long does it take for a tree to mature to the point that it'll give you the lime? Probably seven to eight years. This, this, wow. this tree, it's its first year, is really good. So really? you'll actually get a hundred pies off a tree or so. I see one. Oh my, can I pick it? It'd be my first Go, key lime ever. Yeah. Cool. Ow, the key lime trees have thorns. Yeah, they do. All right. So this is where it happens, huh? Yeah, this is where the, the pie gets Okay, make made. sure these make it in, though, OK? Because I picked that. No, you want those lime. ones. All right, all right. We're going to. I gonna... just didn't. A great thing about using homegrown ingredients, it keeps prices down. You know, key lime pie throughout the Keys, it's made different everywhere. Some are cooked, some aren't, some have meringue, some have whipped coffee. Everybody's is different. Christie's version, which is based on an old family recipe, starts by blending her quartered key limes and water into a smooth puree. Looks good already. Yeah. And that looks pretty good. That looks delicious. Yeah. Looks like a cocktail. You can smell it. Oh, man. Wonderful, huh? After draining the pulp, the pure key lime juice is then combined with sweetened condensed milk. And with the addition of eggs and sour cream, the mixture is blended into a rich custard. That's looking good. Yeah. Great. 
at this point, it goes into the oven, 350 for just 10 minutes. That's like the universal baking temperature. Yeah. <laughs> After the pie bakes and cools, it's topped with one of the key lime pie's key ingredients, whipped cream. Mmm, that's a mighty fine pie. Mighty fine pie. Man, when you said fresh, you meant fresh. I meant fresh. <laughs> I gotta tell you, Christy, you we were We did it kidding. off the tree. <laughs> All right, Rachel. Breakfast is served. <laughs> Breakfast of <laughs> champions. You got it. <laughs> right on. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Enjoy. Have a nice day. You too. All right. Time to test the fruits of Christy's labor. Oh, man. I so know why they start the day this way. Mm -mm. You know, key lime pie for breakfast may seem wacky, but it is delicious, and it cost me only $2.95. That leaves me over $37 for the rest of the day. Remember, when you're cruising down the highway, never underestimate the value of a roadside diner. You'll get a great taste of the local favorites at a fraction of the price. Mm. This is delicious. That key lime juice, Heart. The pie, super creamy. It's fantastic. I'm going to be all juiced up for the rest of my trip into the Keys. Can't wait. Perfect way to start the day. Mm. Coming up, I find out why one local artist isn't starving when she recommends a favorite lunchtime hangout. Uh, I was wondering, can you recommend something in the neighborhood here, kind of funky for lunch? Yeah, Blue Heaven. Stay tuned. Blue Heaven. Cool. Heavenly. All right. Um, I'm on a budget, though. Is it kind of affordable? This. Skip the tourist traps and find out where the locals flock. Repeat business at neighborhood haunts usually means great food at affordable prices. Woo! Wind in my hair. <laughs> Okay, so I've been driving through the Keys. I finally made it here to Key West, and I've completely run out of road. I'm here at the water. I'm thinking this is the southernmost point, and I'd really like my picture taken here. Luckily, they thought of that. <laughs> Would you guys mind taking a picture of me? I wouldn't mind at all. Thank you. Want me to take two? Okay, yeah, take one of me over here, because I think that this is the real southernmost all right. point. Famous now, baby. Work it, baby. Come on. <laughs> Work it. Oh, this is oh. my southernmost point. All right, all right. Come on. Do <laughs> something with your hair. All right. Yay! You rock. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. No Appreciate problem. it. For most travelers, Key West is the main vacation destination of the Florida Keys. And it's not hard to see why. It's energetic, exciting, and eccentric. Key West is also known for its bohemian lifestyle. This tropical paradise has for years provided a haven for authors, artists, and other creative types. Read any good Hemingway lately? <laughs> and some of Key West's top eateries keep their memory alive, providing inspiration for the town's new generation of talented artists. Wow, I'm so glad I have film. I've spent the last hour scoping out some outrageous art, and now I'm starving. But where can I get a masterpiece of a lunch on a paint-by-numbers budget? Hey. Hi. <laughs> okay, she definitely looks like a local artist, and if you ask a local artist where to eat, you're gonna get three things. It's gonna be interesting, it's definitely gonna be inexpensive, and they have great taste. It's gonna taste yummy. <laughs> Hey. Hello. How are you? Good. Uh, I was wondering, can you recommend something in the neighborhood here, kind of funky for lunch? Yeah, Blue Heaven. You're Blue almost Heaven. there. It's right Blue down Heaven. the street. Cool. Heavenly. All right. Um, I'm on a budget, though. Is it kind of affordable? Or... Oh, yeah. No problem. Cool. Thank you. Just keep going that way. Yeah. All right. Take okay. Bye. Blue Heaven. How funky, man. Now, this looks like my kind of heaven. <laughs> Established over 120 years ago as a bar and dance hall, Blue Heaven is now a local's food paradise. And if it's offbeat ambiance at artist prices you're searching for, look no further. The patio is an artist's playground of color and imagination. Blue Heaven is also rich in local history, and current owner Richard Hatch has heard all the stories. Back in the 20s and 30s, there was a bordello and dance hall upstairs. A lot of people know the story about Hemingway. 
Uh, boxing out here on Friday nights. He's I box. In the yard. I well, could have boxed. Tammy Wax. He was a beefy guy. <laughs> yeah, right? When Richard took over Blue Heaven nine years ago, he offered only black bean soup and sandwiches. Today, the restaurant features a creative menu offering a fresh twist on some traditional Caribbean favorites. So let me ask you, if you had to pick one thing off your menu to have for lunch, mm. uh, what would it be? Lunch. Well, the jerk chicken tortilla. Cool, all right. Well, I'm sold, man. Sounds okay. delicious. Right. I think I'll have one of them. Great. Chef Char Hogan begins by grilling strips of chicken, but not just any chicken will do. Char's have spent the last five hours soaking up his secret marinade. It contains over 20 different ingredients, including cinnamon, orange juice, nutmeg, and a kick of cayenne pepper. Meanwhile, I'm out exploring the grounds of this eclectic restaurant. Cool, man, check this out. Hey, hey, excuse me, mister. Yeah. Could you give me a push? Sure. Work up a little more appetite, come on. Here we go, you got, you got you're on? I'm on. All right. Woo! <laughs> you Woo, thank you. <laughs> you won't find this at the tour spot, and it's a great way to break the ice with the locals. Again! Woo! <laughs> Back in the kitchen, Char bakes a fresh tortilla piled high with organic rice, black beans, and cheese. After a few moments under the broiler, the dish is finished off with a decidedly Mexican topping. Fresh salsa, sour cream, fresh jalapeno, fresh avocado. And of course, Blue Heaven's specialty, the succulent strips of jerk chicken. The result is an artistic blend of tastes and cultures. Hey, thank you. That looks phenomenal. Are you welcome to try Thanks. Can't wait to try the jerk. Mmm. Right on. That's some really good authentic jerk. Spicy? Not too spicy. I got my veggies, the avocado, party on a plate. Absolutely great. You know what? This is only $9.25. That's a bargain. And the roosters in the rope swing, they were free. <laughs> Coming up, I might just blow my budget. Yeah! All right. Two shows nightly, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, all right. Stay tuned as I try to find a low-cost way to indulge in a Key West classic. Fresh... The laid-back atmosphere of the Florida Keys is partly due to their isolation from the mainland. This relaxing refuge has enticed adventurers and daydreamers alike to call the Keys home. People who arrived on vacation and never left. For others, Key West has been home to generations of their family. But whether a native or a transplant, people who live on Key West refer to themselves as conks in honor of the underwater sea creature that surrounds the island. It just so happens that the conch is also a local delicacy. Well, I've been walking all afternoon and my feet are killing me, so I think I'm gonna try the transportation of choice for most area residents. Are you going to the beach? Yeah, I am. You taking a ride? Yes! Thank as we ride, my new friend recommends his favorite place in town for an authentic Caribbean dinner, Bahama Mama's. Inside, owner Corey Sweetser, whose family has been in the Keys for over five generations, uses locally harvested ingredients to create such low-cost favorites as conch fritters, plantains, shrimp hash cakes, and Bahama Mama's specialty, curried conch. So, Corey, you're gonna make me curried conch? Curried conch. This is the steak of the conch. This is actually the whole animal. And conch's like, ooh, you know, the big the big shell. The right, the horn. big, yeah, that's this, the conch. this lives inside the shell. Of course, mm -hmm. we took the skin off, and it's so delicious that they named descendants of the Bahamian Islands. Mm -hmm. 
conks if they're born in Key West. Oh, that's why you're a conk and that's a conk. Gotcha. And both sides of my family settled in Key West 150 years ago. So you are pure conk. I'm a fifth generation born conk. Now this is readily available? Conk is all over the island. It grows all over the island. It's, it's, it's sold all over the island. We take some butter, like this, put some thyme on the butter. Mmm, I love fresh thyme. And we would actually heat up the butter first. I would say 95% of my menu is authentic Bahamian dishes. This and it's been, it's been handed down? Handed down from generation to generation, from the Bahamas to the original Bahamian settlers in Key West, which was my ancestors. They had a lot of the recipes they had, they had been in. Do you, you still have family all around here? Yes, my damn barbershop across the street, Floyd's Barbershop. Uh, you know, I was saying earlier, it's such a cool shop. It just looks so welcoming, you know? You've been there for 45 years. Cutting here every day. Wonderful. Yes, he took a vacation. We're gonna check on the hush puppies in the plantain. We wanna put the vegetables in and let them get a little. That's got a butter. lot of color, a lot of different textures. Well, that's just it about the Bahamian Caribbean islands. It's, it's color, color and flavor is what we try to present. Do you consider Key West kind of an extension of the Bahamas? That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Now we can lower the flame. The flavor of Corey's signature dish is enhanced with the infusion of caraway, curry powder, ginger, thyme, and a dash of cayenne pepper. For an added kick, Corey finishes it off with a splash of sherry. We just put a good amount Ooh, of that. Look at there. that. Flame up a bit. Cool. Yep. While the conch simmers, Corey cooks up a Bahama Mama's exclusive, the shrimp hash cake. Though small in size, the patty contains a whopping 35 ingredients. The main ingredient is shrimp. We have, we have, we have it packed with shrimp. And 34 other things. And 34 other things. Oh, my. We want to try to stand out in Key West. It's like 350 restaurants in Key West. And you know, a lot of them are really, really priced. So far out there. It's, now, well, it's, it's, so, it's, it's so much expenses to come to Key West and try to have a business. Unfortunately, I'm from Key West, and we kind of worked our way into a business ah. through the years. So, um, so you pass that savings along to the customer. Then. Yeah. The meal is served with such Bahamian favorites as pigeon peas and rice, fried plantains, and hush puppies. Boy, that looks fantastic. Well, it's yours, and you ready to go? I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm gonna yourself? go get your work on becoming an honorary conk. Okay. <laughs> well, enjoy. Thanks, Cor. All right. Can't wait to get into Corey's conk. <laughs> you know, he really did keep it tender. Excellent. And that curry? The ginger really jumps out, and I have never put caraway in my curry. It's a great idea. I'm gonna try it at home. Time to check the day's cash supply. The day's speeding by, and so far I've experienced some tasty island treats for a running total of $27.70. You know, when you go out to dinner, take the time to ask them what the specialties are. You're always gonna get locally grown, really fresh ingredients. Often these meals are gonna be specially priced, and they're always gonna be made with heart. I mean, when I'm done with Corey's conch, I'm gonna be a conch. Hmm. <laughs> Coming up, I cruise on over to the waterfront and toast some of the finer things the Keys have to offer. And guess what? The entertainment is free. Enjoying a cocktail at a high-end restaurant is a low-cost way to experience five-star ambiance. Well, that one's beautiful. These are wonderful. Are these yours? Well, I have a thing for roosters, so. <laughs> I'm in the Keys, the sun is setting, and I've got my eyes set on two things. Finding the party and watching the sun go down over the water. For a front row seat to the action, Mallory Square looks like it might just have what I'm looking for. Summer night lights. Well, I'm a cook, so I should have a nightlight made out of a tuna can. Absolutely. Sold American. The artist who created my new nightlight told me I gotta try a bar on the water called Billy Fish. He says the drinks are worth every penny because the deck offers a prime vantage point for an eye-popping view of the sunset. Hey, hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Great. I hear this is the place to watch the sunset. 
So I'm wondering from you, what is the cocktail? You have to try one of our rum runners. We what are your rum runners? Okay. We have the best rum runners on the island. What makes them so great? Come with banana and blackberry liqueur. Wow. Yeah. Ooh, we that have sounds good. Dark and light Bacardi rum. Both in there. Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of alcohol. A little bit of sour mix. That's like lemon lime. Mm -hmm. Okay. Splash of grenadine in there for you. That's like a whole fruit bowl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, it smells like he went. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and just in case there's not enough alcohol for you, an extra shot of Bacardi 151. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a whole tropical island experience. There you go. It? How much do I owe you for that? 750. Okay. Here you go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great evening. Looks great. Okay, so at 750, this is not an inexpensive drink, but this is my kind of dessert. <laughs> mm. It is delicious, and when you think about it, it's really a bargain because you're going to get the greatest show on earth with that sunset in about four minutes. I've had such a great time here in Key West. It may have a really colorful history, but I'm telling you, history in the making is every bit as much fun. And the food, key lime pie for breakfast, and we had the Jamaican jerk, and we had the conch. Now we're ending the day with a delicious rum runner, and I didn't go a dime over budget. I'm all out of time for this trip, but join us next time when we go to a whole new city on just $40 a day. Mm. Money, money.